Hello, my name is Yang He. I'm going to present our work on fake image detection with Ning, Margaret, and Mario. Generative modeling achieves great success in recent years. Here, some examples are shown that increasingly better images can be generated from progressive growing gain, stale gain, and stale gain too. On one hand, the techniques allow us to manipulate the images or videos and produce realistic results. However, those fake images threaten the secure environment in the digital area, that the misleading information may cause losses to individuals or organizations. Fortunately, recent works have shown such fake images can be detected easily by training a classifier with the image themselves and the, all the spectral representations, finally leading to almost perfect detection accuracy in the source domain of a training data. However, the mentioned detection scenario has some flaws. If a fake images are processed with some unknown techniques, this distribution bias between training and the testing data makes the detection still hard. For example, recent proposed spectral regularization can calibrate the frequency distribution between synthetic and real images. During GAN training, the calibrated images may challenge detecting fake images, especially for the spectral-based detectors. In addition to regularizing the training of a GAN, it's able to directly apply spectral equalization as post-processing on the fake images. From this table, we compile the performance for detecting original fake images and the images with frequency distribution calibration. Clearly, we can see a performance drop for both methods and the different source of uh, fake images, which demonstrates de detecting fake images is still challenging in such scenarios. Last, in real-world scenarios, there are still many image processing techniques can be used to elevate the characteristic patterns from a generator such as JPEG compression, low-pass filtering, and so on. Data augmentation is a kind of method to deal with the image processing. However, there, there may still be potential unknown processing used. Therefore, we would like to seek for a robust representation to deal with the misuse of image synthesis, which is able to handle various processing, including frequency processing, unknown processing, and robust to domain shift in real world. Finally, we show our re representations achieve a more robust results in high-resolution fake face detection compared to previous methods. In detail, we propose a simple and effective method. Our method is based on training a super-resolution model, which aims to fit and reconstruct real images better than fake ones. The super-resolution model is only trained with real images, and therefore, the reconstruction errors have some different distributions in ranges and uh, local structures. Besides, the super-resolution model is trained with the uh, per perception loss, which provides us measurements on different levels of uh, visual properties. Finally, we take the reconstruction maps at the different stages as the input features to train ConNet for classification. To demonstrate the robustness of our method, we conduct experiments with the celebrate AHQ datasets of high-resolution facial images. We generate fake images with recent popular progressive growing GAN and stale GAN, and perform detection in intra-domain and cross-domain. Last, as our motivation, we adjust fake images with spectral regularization and spectrum equalization, and we also follow previous work to test the detector by applying a combination of post-processing on real and fake images, including JPEG, crop, and so on. In Table 1, we list the performance of different detectors, which are trained with Resonat 50. In all the settings, we train the detectors with clean images directly generated from GAN models without any other processing, and test it on the images in the different settings. First, we observe previous image-based detector is sensitive to domain shift, even though a spectrum-based detector achieves stronger results compared to image-based they are still worse than our performance. Second, we compile the performance on the fake images with spectral regularization and equalization. In this case, we can also observe our models are quite stable to the calibration, while spectrum-based methods decrease the performance a lot compared to ours. Last, following previous work, we show our methods are also robust to the combination attacks on both real images and fake images. 
and achieve more robust detection results compared to Paris work. Thanks a lot for your attention. You are welcome to contact me if you have any questions on this work.